Well, it is a quiet morning in the Ukraine. This is a live video from Zumi, a city not far from the border with Russia. Now, people here are especially aware of the building tensions between Ukraine and Russia. The U.S. now saying Russia could attack any day now. As CBS's Tom Hansen explains, the Kremlin still insists it has no invasion plans, despite moving roughly 110,000 troops along the border. The White House says a Russian invasion of Ukraine may be imminent. We believe that there is a very distinct possibility that Vladimir Putin will order an attack on Ukraine. Uh, it could take a number of different forms. It could happen as soon as tomorrow, or it could take some weeks yet. Over 110,000 Russian troops have taken up positions along the Ukraine border. Sources tell CBS News that's about 70 percent of what the Kremlin would need to launch an offensive. This is the single greatest threat Europe has faced since the 1940s. The U.S. has responded to the escalation by shipping weapons to Ukraine and deploying thousands of troops to Eastern Europe. The Biden administration hopes the threat of severe economic penalties will be enough to deter an invasion. We have designed a set of economic sanctions that would take on the Russian financial system limit President Putin's ability to project power into the future by cutting them off from key technologies and cutting off key elites from the Russian economy. The Kremlin denies that an attack is in the works. On Twitter Sunday, a senior Russian diplomat dismissed the idea as a masterpiece of U.S. propaganda. On Saturday, thousands took part in a patriotic march in Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city. Other Ukrainians spent their weekend training to defend their homeland. And U.S. intelligence officials say they believe Russian President Vladimir Putin has yet to decide whether to invade Ukraine, and they believe the decision is largely his to make.